Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in E4. This is uh, the Death Martian Revoki Pokey. Things are going to speed up relatively fast now. Um, so we squirreled to fix the released Hungary. I I used Return Province, which is acceptable, but I decided I wanted to actually make him a vassal because I want to take advantage of Return Core, and uh, just it would it's just better this way. So. We did all the stuff we did at the end of the last episode, in this episode, and now we're here. So, we're at uh, 9 out of 9 relations. We have a royal marriage with Lucca we're trying to break. We could just break it right this second, um, but technically it's giving us opinion, and we need to get him to the point where he'll accept becoming a free city. So I want to just improve relations here. Uh, we're going to spy on Württemberg because we want to attack Cleves soon. This does not affect Württemberg. We want to affect Württemberg. Let's go here. Got some rebels to take care of. Um, we ran out of military points, so... I'm not gonna... Not gonna start coring yet. Okay, that confused the hell out of me for a second. I thought that was a royal marriage offer from France. So Provence is a one province minor vassal with cores on France. We'll keep that. He won't be able to add land to the empire, but um, we'll integrate him relatively quickly. Take the royal marriage, it's fine. If I already influenced Lucca for trust, I did, but it probably expired. Yes. Trust doesn't actually affect the reasons for acceptance, I think. It's just opinion. It's our Diplo rep, the, um, their opinion of us divided by 10. So we can get up to 11 more reasons from opinion, and then three more reasons if we can get one more Diplo rep, which we can do by getting rid of our overextension, which we're just going to start doing as soon as we are done harsh treating. I think that's close enough. I'm just going to start the course. It's mostly English, so it should be very quick. Except for the Welsh stuff. I don't think we need to spy on Venice anymore. Um, I will get another claim on him. If I can. Set manual opinion of Lucca. It's not going to change their attitude toward us or anything. It's not a, I mean, it's not a bad idea, but it's, it's not going to actually do anything. <laughs> okay, let's keep colonizing over here. We could be filling in more like trade company regions, which might make us a, a better profit overall, but economically we've been so strong for so long that I just, I don't really care to uh, try to min-max economy as much. Uh, nope, that's wrong. Gotta keep this army here to suppress for a little while. Actually, no, I think we don't. Never mind. I think we just drill here with this stack because we actually want to keep on suppressing rebels until we get to our max absolutism. So any harsh treatment, like generation we can get would be good. Especially if they're the five point clicks. Those are the best. Absolute best. Uh, What's it called? Absolutism generation.
Okay. Imperial authority growth at 0.22 a month now. We have one heretic prince, which is Austria. Um... Still just doing harsh treatment on subjects for that absolutism. We're at 81 point something. Need to get Lucka higher opinion. And 61. His reasons for accepting free city status are at negative 6 now. And I guess we're probably just going to stay at peace until the English cores are done. And we can add a bunch of land to the Empire, and that'll pass the next reform. The next reform is going to help out quite a bit, because we're going to get uh, another Diplomat and more Diplo Rep. Did I start the last course? Probably not, no. Thank you. Easy to forget little things like that. Only because, I mean, I'm trying to pay attention to so much stuff at the same time. Maybe we're better off taking an extra Diplomat right now. I feel like we've got a lot to do with Diplomats. We don't really need the extra Colonist. It's not really a huge part of what we're doing. Alternatively, we could take create offices for Vassal Nobles, even if we're not trying to integrate anyone specifically, just because I know we will be integrating Russia. And having the discount active already could be nice. What think you? Accept English culture? Already done. Already accept English. Yeah, we do have Spy Network with Russia. We've been using that for, like, discounts on tech occasionally, also siege ability. Just having it is useful. I don't really need more claims, so... Although, again, if, if we integrate Prussia, we can add all, all this land. Prussia's land, and then anything we conquer from Russia. All this super bad Norwegian... Not Norwegian. What's this country? Novgorod. Novgorodian play for the Empire. Do I plan to integrate in the next 10 years? Yes, I do. We can start the integration in... 60... in uh, 33, so within four years. Yeah, I think we'll just take that. Let's just take it now. We don't want to lose any legitimacy. If anything, I think we actually want to bump legitimacy right, right now. To uh, get the extra tiny bit of Diplo rep. So, let's do Prestige, Prestige. I'll do it. We have a spare Diplomat. Um, we were spying on Württemberg for a claim. We are spying on Russia for siege ability in future wars. We should probably spy on France as well for that reason. We're improving with Lucka so we can try to make a free city and get rid of the relationship. Once we get rid of the relationship, we're gonna release Savoy, which creates a new prince. We still only have four free cities at the moment. We do, however, have lots of money. How do you guys feel about teaching kids how to read good? Universities for everyone. <laughs> also, we have a dev cost edict on. Last time I did that. Take a look if you can ask Austria to switch religion. I don't think he will. He's been outraged for a long time. He wasn't outraged, and his opinion wasn't negative. Maybe? We could maybe tie a diplomat up. I've already improved relations with him quite a bit, but... Did you mean read well? No, it's it's a reference. Oh, come on. You, you don't think I, I don't know that that's wrong, right? You know I know that's wrong. Please. <laughs> that's a reference to Zoolander. Come on. Come on, you know that. Let's just drill down here while we wait for the next Spain War. It's a center for children who can't read good. It's Zoolander. Come on, man. 
Come on, man. You know I know? Good. We've been banking this for a while. We could click it at some point. We want more money, though. We want to, we want to, like, I want, like, 10,000 ducats minimum. I want a lot of ducats. It's only 6,000. It's not enough. So Denmark is up. Should probably go for the Dith Martian thinger. Do we have any claims on him right now? Subject has no claims on him. We have no claims on him. We have no reason to attack him. We do, on the other hand, want to attack Norway in order to make him back into a free city. And we have a claim on him, which makes us fight Denmark. But Denmark as a separate piece is kind of bad. I think we should just quickly fabricate a real claim on him. Then we'll separate piece Norway instead. Okay, that gets us our claim on Württemberg. We should fabricate on this. We can actually release Ravensburg from this guy as well. He was a German free city, I believe. Alright, so the plan here was to attack him and we fight Cleves. Alright, so we're ready for a nice little quick war. Have to be somewhat careful because if we die right now, then we're wasting Imperial Authority. Okay, our absolute best leaders, as sorted by siege ability, of our guys with six uh, with four siege pips, our best guy is poor, poor Whisk you, you know, he's so close. I'm gonna have Whisk you drill. I want to get him a fourth siege pip, like everyone else, you know. He can hang back and drill. We'll have our next best guy is probably Raffle, and then after that we've got. Nessie 312. These two are gonna go lead this war. We're gonna focus on knocking Cleavies out first. The cancel trade power. <laughs> yeah, if an AI ever cancels uh, transfer trade power with you, you know that they're about to attack you, right? It's the same thing that happens with us. For some reason, there's an Ottoman army in our lands. Interesting. Nice of him. I want to improve relations with him eventually. Top off relations with somebody over the annual tick. It's nice when you're not Catholic, because then you don't have to worry about um, always improving with the Pope. Why don't you want to be a free city? Two reasons. If we had one more Diplo Rep, we'd have it. So, overextension. Alright, keep an eye on that. Let's get started on this, though. Elysia won't defend. Good. Ooh, legitimacy is Diplo Rep. I need that. I guess we're paying admin points. Weird. Feels wrong. Wow, 31 day siege sticks. Excuse me? Ah, they're all getting so defensive. I hate it. I hate it. Gross. How many edicts have been enacted? Edicts? I'm confused. What's an edict? You mean the uh, the imperial reforms? We're on. We're about to pass the second. It's going slower than I would like, but we're doing what we can. Gross. Din Anden store men. Drunk, drunkening. Okay. Bunch of weird, gibberish words. Men drunkenlingen. <laughs> hey, 
Okay, I think this guy's out of forts. He's got... I think he's got a... Uh, yeah, he's got no more forts. Cool. Aside from the capital, which just fell. So that probably puts us at real high war score already. Get a proper claim on Denmark. Whatever the highest development province he has is, it's going to be his capital. We're going to remove him from the game now, soon. Separate piecing you with 81 war score. Looks like what? Looks like releasing Cologne Nassau Platinet. And that's about it. So let's take him to 100 war score and make him do all that. Okay, we have 99 war score. He doesn't want to do it because ongoing battles. Oh, that's a lot of troops there. Probably okay with this army, but it would have been better to engage with another. Uh, we'll go over the monthly tick and then we'll retreat with the larger army. And then just re immediately re-engage, I think. I want to just kill these armies. Difference. You can keep your money, but you're giving out the subjects. Clone the planet in Nassau. I think that's all we can get out of this guy, so that's fine. Wurttemberg. Next age bonus. So we, we took uh, harsher treatment into administrative efficiency. We don't really need the yearly absolutism. Um, but it can be nice because it allows you to lower autonomy sometimes if you want to. And not have like any concerns about going too low. The Dutch bonus is... meh. I don't know, it doesn't seem that appealing to me, really. Monthly autonomy cooldown is also nice. But we'll just take the absolutism for this time. Don't forget about Laka. We're waiting on him to accept, which he won't do yet because we don't have enough Diplo rep, because we're waiting on conversion uh, cores, which we're about to finish. Let's get started on all four sieges. We've had discontent zone. <laughs> We're the Dutch. You think we care about a little bit of unrest? Come on. I see Denmark declared war. Or was that Lubeck declaring war? Lubeck declared. Alright, whatever. I just need a little bit more war score because we want to make him release whatever's in this province. This actually requires quite a few artillery. We need 15 right now.
All right, our goal here was to release Ravensburg and Ulm. And then... Whatever. We don't really care that he's got a... The, the vassal relationship doesn't really matter too much. Of course, he could integrate him, so I guess... Make him cancel it. And release Ulm. And do this. That's probably better. Alright, let's march north and go fight Denmark and Norway. The Empire is being, just being slowly returned to glory. 49 princes now. Even though there's internal war, we have 0.11 uh, monthly imperial authority, which is pretty good for non-internal war passive time. I want to train this up to a bigger stack. Can we have like some manpower, please? Just, just, just some. Just, just, even the, just the littlest bit, you know? I think I have enough diplomat for Lucka. I probably do, yes, at this point. So close. His opinion slipped slightly. That should do it. Alright, so May 29th, we'll get this guy established as our next free city. Which also frees up our relationship slot because he can't have a role of marriage with us anymore. So we're back on to 8 out of 9, which means we can release Savoy as a vassal. Savoy also has cores. That adds another prince. Savoy is back. 50 princes. And we've got land we can add to the Empire. So we are at peace. Before we declare war, why don't we go ahead and, oh, I don't know, add some land to the Holy Roman Empire and then pass some reforms. Two, one, two, three, four, five. What's this at? 48.44. We'll do one more. And then we'll tick our way up a little bit here because if we add exactly 50, we've got 48 princes for it. <laughs> The princes are like, yeah, it's a great idea. We like this. Lazy colonists, thank you. Turns out having uh, the Norwegian or the Norwegians? We're not Norwegian. Turns out having the Dutch be the ruler of the empire is pretty good. We like this. This is great. <laughs> okay, we have diplomats that are free. Let's spy on uh, Spain. Let's top off our spy network on uh, Russia just in case we want to fight him. We've gained a merchant apparently. Gained or stopped not having? Oh, that's probably the merchant from the second colonial nation. Uh, with the smallest nation, nation name ever. New Hamster Dance. Let's get a merchant um, here. It's time for that now, I think. How about that Norway situation? We You can't pass Imperial forms while you're at war. So I'm trying to get this Imperial Reform passed first, and then we'll do it. Let's grab, um... This army is apparently stuck. So we'll take the transports over to here. Sweden got involved in this war. Sweden wants this land. We might not even see a Denmark soon. Heck, we might not even see a Norway soon. He's just going to take that land from him and then... Interesting. Still upset about Riga doing their thing. Speaking of Riga, you've been my vassal for a while. What if we just integrated you? Six, uh, 33. So it's the same time we can integrate Russia. Free up some relations. Okay, amazingly, it's already been 20 minutes. Man, time flies. It really does. Alright, I'll see you again in the next episode if you're watching this on... YouTube. Otherwise, stick around. I'll be back in just a sec on Twitch. See you soon.